Hello and welcome to Boondock Life and Style. My name is Ray and I'm so excited because it's been a couple weeks since I filmed for you guys. It is been such a busy, busy time. I've been traveling, I've been working a lot, and so it's so good to finally get a little bit of time to sit here with you guys and catch up. And so today we are going to do our monthly series of the bags that I carried in the previous month. And so, without further ado, let's get started into our July bag roundup. Hell yeah, let's get started. So last month, not only did I actually keep track of all the bags that I used throughout the month, I kept tabs on how many times I used each bag. And so, we're going to go in order of most used to least used. I didn't use all my bags, so, but we have 14. We have 14 to go through today, which I think is pretty dang good. Of course, my most used bags are going to be my work bags. And so, instead of previous, previous videos or previous months, my most used bag has always been my never full. But we have a new most used bag, and that is the Aloha Collection Paradise Birds Holo Holo Tote. And so this is, let me unfold this for you. It's quite large. It is made out of cotton Tyvek, and it's from Aloha Collection. And this does zip up, which makes it a great work bag, and it's super lightweight. So... Not only did I use this to go to work, I also did a couple short travel trips in July for, for work, but also like things like taking the boat out and going to the beach. Because this is cut Tyvek, it is splash proof, and it's just a fantastic, fantastic work and travel bag. So, most used bag of July. Next, we have another Aloha collection bag and that is my uh, reversible tote it's this is the Holomoa print and this is also I don't know if you guys can see that the branding is is tone on tone so it is hard to see but I do actually have a couple things in here because not only do I use it for work but it also makes a great shopping bag. And so this is reversible. The other side just says 10 years Aloha collection, but I typically only wear it the print side. And so this is just a fantastic shopper tote and I love the summer colors of this bag. Then finally, at number three, we have my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM in the Damiuri Ben. And so this is my current work bag which has all my stuff in it I'm not gonna it's heavy it's heavy guys but she came in at number three last month so not my USUs however still up there on the list there goes my phone and this is just this is just a fantastic fantastic work bag super durable love this bag but yeah still one of my most used coming in at number four Back to the Paradise Birds, but another Aloha Collection bag. This time it's the mini duffel bag. And the reason why this is number four on my list is, one, I did mention that I had to do a couple travel short work trips. And so this makes a fantastic travel bag. One, because it's, it lies flat. And so super packable, but also, it's made of that same cotton Tyvek material and it does come with a shoulder slash crossbody strap in the same kind of green canvas webbing material. I like to wear this either as a top handle or a shoulder bag, but great piece. And of my non-work bags, she came in at the top. So number four most used bag in July. 
In number five, I have my Coach Swinger 20 in this black size. And I picked this up at the Memorial Day sales on 24S. And really with the purpose of it being a great little work bag, travel bag, and it has done the job. And so I have done a video on multiple ways to style this bag. And I think the size, the removable strap options make this a really versatile piece and just really enjoying it right now. So number five. And number six, we have a little bit of an underdog and that is the Coach Pillow Tabby. And I think the 18 or 20 size, whatever the small size is, but this is in the color vanilla and she has been a fantastic bag. So made it into my top six most used bags of July. Yeah, love it. I love the feel of this bag. This one is just so squishy and she's one of the ones that I just like to touch. Yeah, super, super, super soft, but I got some use out of her. In numbers seven and eight, we actually have a tie. And so I have my Coach Chelsea Hobo Bag. This is vintage, vintage. And then I also have this little Michael Kors outlet bag. And I'm just really loving the shoulder bags right now. I feel like this is my true handbag style. And I'm also enjoying browns, but browns with silver hardware. Silver Hard was my favorite. I think it just looks good with these colors. And so super casual. I'm just really enjoying these bags. This one does come with a crossbody strap, but I never carry it with a crossbody strap. I like to top handle this bag or crook of the arm or even put it over, ooh, or even wear this as a tiny little shoulder bag or strap another black strap option to make it a little bit longer of a shoulder bag. But yeah, these tied for number seven. So this is my seven and eight bags. Now we're getting into my one-offs. And so I'm gonna start off with bags, I guess, nine and 10. These are both little tiny tote bags. And so I'm gonna include these together. This is my Coach Mini Cashin in the color Sage. This is actually my TJ Maxx find earlier this year. And I hadn't worn this bag until July. So I finally had a chance to pick her up and take her out for her, her spin on the town. And then of course we have this fun, fun, fun summer bag. And really this color, I feel like works for all seasons, but it just, it's a, such a nice little pop and it's a perfect little casual bag. And so uh, this does, well actually both of these bags come with a crossbody strap. I wore this top handle. I wore this top handle and with a crossbody. So I just think that these are such fun bags to carry and I'm really enjoying the colors. And another fun color is my Louis Vuitton outdoor sling bag in this beautiful fuchsia color silver hardware. This is such a fantastic bag when you need to take something to be small enough to get into a vent but also be hands free. So I took this bag with me to NHRA and was just such a good bag. It's just such a good bag and the canvas makes this bag super, super durable. And I just, I love the color. The color is what gets me every single time. And so I feel like July, even though I did enjoy my brown bags, it was definitely a month for color. Another fun colorable bag that I brought out is my Coach little heart bag in this beautiful iced purple lilac whatever color I, I don't remember what the color was when I bought this so 
I may have to look it up. But yes, I love this bag. It fits hardly nothing, but I love the color. I love this leather ch chain strap that I purchased separately, but it just makes this such a fun bag. And again, top handle or shoulder carry, either way, this is such a fantastic little fun summer bag. And we're gonna finish this video with a couple more brown bags. I don't know why, I've just been really enjoying brown bags and so maybe I'm getting into that fall trend, but this wouldn't be a monthly bag roundup list without mentioning my Louis Vuitton Nano Speedy. This makes my list every single month. It's just such a fun and functional bag and I really enjoy this little cutie patootie. And the last bag at number 14 is my newest, I think is my newest bag acquisition. This is the Coach Swinger Zip in this color, gorgeous maple color. I have been loving this bag and this leather is so soft to touch. But again, going back to shoulder bags, brown bags, silver hardware, these are just the things that I'm really enjoying right now. And I actually, this was my bag of the day. So let me close her up. She is a lady, she is a lady, so let's make her a little bit decent. Okay, but fantastic bag, love this bag. And you, mm, I feel like she's gonna be featured on these videos quite often. At least until I get sick of using this bag, which I, I just don't see happening. So yeah, good one. All right, that's it for today's video. I'm so glad to be back on YouTube and hopefully no more long breaks. I will try much harder to stay on schedule and post video for you guys, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't make it too, too long and I hope everybody has a fantastic, fantastic day. If there is any bags that you would like to get more information on or you would like me to do a review, please leave a comment down below and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!